All right, we're live, John. Put on your pants. Well, we should, we're, it's, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. I took them off and burned them. Woo! I, don't even, I don't even have pants anymore. We're pantsless. Pantsless with thralls of metal. There's one. Hi. <laughs> <What's up>? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What if they heard the pantsless part? Oh, I'm fucking it. tired. Oh. Yeah, and fucking good shows take a lot out of you. Oh, you got three. Yep. yep. And that was a good show. A lot of headbanging. Right, we'll wait for a few more people to get there. Hello, all three people. Hello, How's three. You, on? Three. <laughs> <laughs> See? Hey. I had James. What's up, Ryan? What's up, James? Oh, yeah, see? Yo. Passless. That's all it took. What's up, Lamb Knot? What's up, the yeah. Josh? No, oh, Jesus oh, Christ, dude. The just joshing. Sorry. I was still burping up Mexican food. Ugh. What's up, Christian? Hey, what's going on, Phil? Yo, yo. Hey, what's going on, Hangman? William? All right. Well, I suppose. With a Z. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's how you pluralize sluts. Duh. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that. Was I mean, we all say it with an S, but we know it's a Z. That's uh, grammatically. I keep uh, leaving stuff over there. I don't want to get up and get over there. I left my. Oh well, fuck it. All right. Well, we got fourteen people here. Let's uh, go into this. So no, let me go grab one. Let oh, me go grab. Oh shit! Of, never mind. Let's oh, go. they're gonna. You ruined the illusion. Oh, You're wearing pants. Keep, keep talking. <laughs> These aren't pants. All right. So all right. So he lied about being pantsless. You're, you're seeing. You know, things. we we try to stay honest. Ooh. Yeah, man. Oh shit. <laughs> where well, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, long distance cuddles. Long distance cuddles. I mean, we can be Thunder buddies. <laughs> Fuck you, Thunder. You can suck my balls. Uh, so you I'm... can't frighten me because you're just God's farts. <laughs> it's something like that. I don't. What's up, John? Yo, yo, uh, John. So, all right. We just got back from a good old Detroit. We made it back with not a single shot fired at us. It's amazing. That we had a good cool. track record. Um, so we went to go see Immolation, Black Anvil, and uh, Mortiferum. We've been saying it wrong this entire time. We have been saying it so wrong for so, so long. Wrong. We, we've been calling them Mortiferum, and it's Mortiferum. Yep, which we found out when they said on stage. <laughs> when they said it on stage, like, ah, how long have we been saying this band's name wrong? Uh, the entire time, about pretty three much. years, three yep. years of fucking up. Yep. So yeah, uh, this <laughs> time, this time it was a new venue for us. I'll see. Look, man, all sorts of cuddles. See, see, see? there's love after all. Still, we can all be Thunder Buddies. Everybody, everybody, come on down. Be a Thunder Buddy. There's so much <laughs> snuggle to go around. I've been what? working on this thing for a long time. All right? That's a that's a there's, gas tank for snuggles. There's right there. extra snuggle in there for everybody. <laughs> that's right. That's right, fuckers. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, this was at a new venue for us. We went to a place called L Club, and which stands uh, that, for the yeah, the it club translates to the way. club. Yes. Uh, you know, it, my my C minus in Spanish uh, clued me in on that one. Yeah, but I, uh, uh, I failed Spanish, so <laughs> who needs it? I helped them out. L so yeah, the... I'm offering free C minus level Spanish lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. But but for John, they're a dollar. Yeah, I need <laughs> I need help. I need. Um, but yeah, this was actually a really cool venue. Um, uh, really giant ceilings, and they have 
it's kind of a narrow uh, venue just in terms of the stage side. Like it's divided half and half with the bar and the stage side, but pretty solid stage and pretty solid sound, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually really solid sound. Actually, probably some of the better sound I think I've heard in a long time at a small venue. Um, for the, the size of this place, the sound was pretty fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these are the questions that need to be asked. They really are. Uh, <laughs> man. So this is there turning is, into educational there's programming a, there's a real, real quickly. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Go to a dude, show. Go to a show, dude. And I mean, if, if there's a date, there's only four dates left, I think, on this tour. If there's a date near you, go see it because oh my god it was amazing yeah, so it was amazing first band on was mortiferum. mortiferum not not mortiferum like we wouldn't fucking up for three years like we've been saying like we've been telling you for all this time now it's not and that it's mortiferum mortiferum in fact anytime there's a silence <laughs> in the upcoming months here it's Dude, gonna be we're just gonna say mortiferum when they said their name we kind of looked at each other like have we been fucking uh, this up? Oh, well, at least there's not like a ton of video evidence where we reference this band. Oh, wait. Oh, Fuck. wait. We say that a lot. We refer them, yeah, a lot. And it's not Mortiferum, like I thought it was. Mortiferum. Mortiferum. See, but I'm I'm with you in the sense that I like Mortiferum better. I don't I think, know. It sounds... I think it's got a bigger like punch to yeah. it. More evil. Yeah, but um, yeah. yeah, they were incredible. They they were uh, well. Their first song, they definitely were getting a lot of feedback from the monitors, especially the, the bass was. Do the kick drum, dude! Every time he hit that oh. kick drum, it was bang. Yeah, and yeah. when he when they that was after the first song, I was like, hey, can we we gotta get this fixed? Otherwise, it's gonna we're gonna kill ourselves with our own sound. Yep, yep. and. Yes, it was very loud, and the crowd agreed that it was very loud, and so they fixed it real quick. And the next song, they sounded fucking flat out perfect. Like Jesus, yep. man, what a monstrous sound! Like as heavy as they are on their albums, and they are heavy, they are even heavier live. And I that mean, is a good thing. Oh, that is God, a good dude. thing. I like I like when you go see a band and they're even better live than they are on the album, especially when the album kicks ass, and you're like, I don't know how this gets any better. That, yeah, that was how to do it. Massive sounding, giant death doom breaks. I mean, fuck, dude, it was just absolutely bone crunching heavy. They had a great fucking sound. I mean, dude, awesome. But uh, after that was uh, Black Anvil. We've been pronouncing that one right. Uh, ever since we heard them too that's pre that's pretty good of us we, yeah. we fucked that up like more yeah way to go good job <laughs> nick Woo! but yeah th this was actually their first date and they're only doing the remaining four dates because it was imperial triumphant uh before them and i would have liked to have seen yeah anyway i, I mean but they're 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 really fucking weird but uh black anvil pretty much straight up black metal maybe black thrash Pretty solid. I thought the vocals were super loud for a while. And did he ask to get them turned up? Or maybe just in his monitor? That's right. Maybe he meant in the monitor because he was already pretty loud coming out towards us. Um, but I mean, you know, whatever. You know what? There, there are so many times where I go to see bands where you can't hear the vocalist. So this just made up for it. And it's not like he was bad. His clean tones weren't necessarily the best. But his vocals were good otherwise. They were yeah. really good. It was when they tried to do the clean harmonies between he and the lead guitarist that it was like, eh, you, yeah, I don't know. Um, but, you know, for the most part, solid set. The, the drummer looked exhausting. Like, he was just beating the living shit out of those drums. We actually he ran into very, him. and very yeah, tattooed. Very tattooed. Very tattooed. Like, there's not much like, real estate left. No. But yeah, solid show. They did a good job. And then 
Oh, dude. I mean, well, spoiler alert, emulation is still fucking great. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're 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 real good. Um, very super tight. Uh, I, and I, I just got to state, their drummer is a goddamn madman. I, yes. wow, wow, what a treat to watch live. Woo. Pretty much a clinic. Uh, he he is one of the most insane drummers in death metal, just in terms of like the uh, fucking the wild fills that he comes up with, the off the wall symbol accents. Yeah. It, it's, it, I mean, I couldn't see him behind. Ross Dolan's mane of hair, which I guess someone told us when they talked to him last, he says he hasn't cut his hair since high school, and I believe him because that dude's hair is... Yeah, dude, like, his hair is... A, 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 like, a, when he whipped it, like it was, it's going to hit someone in the next building over. Yeah, like, I was afraid it was going to get, like, wrapped in the in the scaffolding for the lights. I was <laughs> like, dude. That is but, a mane. And his but, vocals... Oh, man. Whenever he roared, like you fucking felt it in your chest. I was like, dude, that's fucking power. And Rob Vigna, Vig Vigna, uh, lead guitarist, ball guy, the the wildest fucking guitarist I have seen in death metal. Like, just the weird, like he's he's moving and undulating to the riff like a robot, and then doing these big like upstrokes and. Doing, he's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. They're crazy. Yes, and they. I think that is true. I think that, I, I want to look on Wikipedia for that one. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. It's true. But and yeah, they played for a long time. Yeah, and, and they didn't they, oh, seem no, tired. No, yeah, I was just gonna. They didn't seem tired. And no, I was like man, they seemed energized as hell. Again super fucking tight musicianship and considering how technical and nuts their music is that is definitely yeah. something and most of the set if you haven't seen this tour yet if there's still a date coming get ready for a lot of the new album like most of the set is i would say the new album plus as so they did at least one track from um Oh, the goddamn it, the album before it. Why can't I think of it? Fuck. Uh, was the Atonement. You said I, I wasn't listening. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah they, did, they did at least one from Atonement. Um, I think it was When the Jackals Come. They do do a couple from um, Dawn of Possession because uh, it was the 30th year anniversary last year and they didn't get a tour last year because, you know, the world was fucking up. Uh, but yeah, did throw in into everlasting uh, into everlasting fire, and their encore was immolation. Immolation. Yeah. I and... wish they would have done fostering the divide. I love that song yep. with boom, boom. all my heart. I love that song. But <laughs> Kingdom of Conspiracy was in there. I fucking adore that song. That first yep. breakdown that comes in is one of their heaviest moments in a litany of very heavy moments because their discography is uh damn near perfect so that'll be yeah. a tough one oh that'll be a I, toughie i look forward and dread ranking emulation one day just because i like all of their albums like they another grossly consistent like. band grossly uh, consistent yep so We'll show off some merch and then we will start talking to your comments more because we were we were yammering. Um, right. Well, since we're, all right, John, and I got one of the same shirt. Do you just want to show it, or oh, you, you got that? It? You got that? I got the tour shirt too. Of course, I got the tour shirt. Well, whatever, you know. So I'll I'll so first of all, well, first of all, I got an immolation beanie. Uh, even though winter is coming to an end here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there will always be need for beanie. So, immolation beanie. I'm stoked about that. Um, and then, yeah, I got the the uh, X of God shirt, and then of course it's the the tour shirt. Same. And I I made the decision to not buy a long sleeve shirt because again the cold months are coming to an end, and obviously I need some more t-shirts to uh, 
toss into a pile and then dig for later. <laughs> so yeah. Got that okay. Nick got that same shirt and then yep, I uh, got the same one. But we got uh more Tiferum shirts, not more Tiferum. We're not gonna fuck that up anymore. No way. We'll fuck it more up. Again. More Tiferum. More Tiferum. Uh more tiferum. yeah, we'll fuck that up again. I know it. We will. But yeah. I got this nasty, horrendous looking one. I love it. The design is fucking disgusting. Yep. yep. And this is also a tour shirt as well. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, very, very proud of that. And then I also got a Mortiferum shirt. Of course, the album cover, which is also pretty sick. This it is, is actually really, really sick artwork. I'm glad to have a t-shirt of it. And then, of course, tour dates because... Tour dates. Because tour dates. Because it's good to know. Because as you get older, you can't... Uh, Always remember the date uh, of when you <laughs> went and saw a show. <laughs> I was so. in a building and there was a loud band playing. Uh, I don't remember who. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. killer show. Fucking killer. Oh, Immolation is so damn good. Yeah, you're going to have a good time, man. Like I said, uh, listen to the new album a lot. Get used to those tracks because there's a lot of the new yes, stuff. There's like the a first lot of them. There's a, three tracks probably... in the set were. All from the new album. Yeah. Yep. And yes, it is. It is because that's really all they is. do. It's yep. <laughs> right, right. Because did you really expect anything less? Let's I, I I, I expect nothing but awesome. I, I don't right. I don't think that they're ever gonna be one of those bands that drops a fucking turd. Mm -hmm. I just don't an aluminum anus. Aluminum anus. Yeah, I don't see them making an aluminum anus. Um, platinum yeah. butthole. Yeah, I mean, uh, any emulation set. Like, I, honestly, it's one of those bands. Like, if they were like, "Well, we're not going to play this album, but we're going to play a whole bunch of this album," like, this is going to be cool anyway. <laughs> Let's see. So, a few weeks back, with Morta Fairman Imperial Triumphant, the latter was the loudest thing I've ever heard by far. Didn't get my <laughs> wow. Well. I I there you go. guess I'm glad Imperial Triumphant wasn't there. I don't. I just kind of want to. I'm not really into what I've heard in terms of their music, but um, I don't know. It, it just seems interesting. It seems like something I'd have to check out live at least. I like it. I like their music. I would like to see them live, but that's just me. It's apparently not you, because you're a giant turd. Uh, speaking of giant turds, I think. We're getting close to having one on deck. Dude, it's coming, man. We, we had Mexican food before we hit the show. Yes, we had Mexican food prior to the show. And I had a bunch of food actually prior to that Mexican food. And uh, the 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 food combinations that I've had today are not um, conducive to one. a healthy poo. So... <laughs> There's... There's no healthy booze. I looked at the new to Thorns one. Like, no, I gotta get the tour shirt. Even though John got it too. We'll just we you know actually both of our emulation well, shirts are the same fucking shirts. Yeah, but it was my idea to get them first because you said maybe you were gonna skip it and just get it at MDF. And so I went no, and bought a shirt. No, no, I was and I then was you gonna, and then you no, followed I was talking behind about, me like I was talking about getting harnessing ruin or um oh. the other one. Um well, Kingdom Conspiracy. But you didn't. Uh, actually, you Mortal Firm has a more recognizable logo than some of the other death metal bands that have gone over. It's like it's all right. Sugar Bog. Both, yeah, right. Both you and I own so many shirts that it it I think it would be difficult to wear the same one at the same time. Although we've, we've done, done it from time to time. That was a couple of years ago. I know I own a lot of shirts. And I know you own a lot of shirts, and that's just that. If if I have a lot of anything, I know you got me beat on CDs, but if I have a lot of anything, I have a lot of fucking shirts. Damn it, why didn't I think? I... <laughs> Dude, I mean, honestly, if you would hit me up, I totally would have snagged one for you, man. These uh, Mortiferum yeah. shirts. Mortiferum. Not... Mortiferum. 
not we've been saying it wrong hearing. all of us we've been yep yeah, we've been and i i i admit it yeah I said it wrong let's see nope i don't think that was in the set uh they were they really weren't announcing songs they were just ripping into them but oh my god i mean the set's amazing but i mean trust me if you plan on going to see this and these remaining dates just do it and you know if you can't get off work fake your own death for a day don't don't believe that's what i would have done yeah that's fair (laughs) see Man, if they are right, if they'd advertised the orgy, I probably would have like you know shot for a date with Imperial Triumphant then. <laughs> so ritualistic wine pourings into the audience's mouth, walking around the crowd, clothes. Wow, interesting. Ritualist man. Well, I mean, the only time I think I've seen wine on stage was uh, Wolves on the Throne Room, but they were guzzling it themselves. Yes. Yeah, they were not sharing. No, they were they were like chugging that shit too. Yeah, this and Tomb's logos. Well, I mean, it's at least like symmetrical. Like the Sangua Sigabog one it looks like it just quit halfway through and melted. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dis and Tomb, at least you can make out pretty much. Yep, we we know about that yeah. one. I'm not I'm not telling that story again either. I'm pretty sure he's not thrilled about me telling that story. <laughs> <laughs> on our channel. I don't know if I've told him I've told that story. I'm yeah, not gonna well, tell him. Wait until he he's supposed to start his new job, right? We should leave him be until he gets in. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, we yeah. had the before. Actually, twice. Twice. In two days. We we were fortunate. Well, I mean, yeah, it was fortunate, but it kind of sucked. Uh, when we went to MDF in 2019, Immolation was headlining uh, one of the smaller stages, the sound stage, and absolutely fucking crushed it. Due to an issue with Vomitory and um, their uh, merch visa, their merch visa, yep. they couldn't get in, so they were stuck in Quebec for Quebec Death Fest. And they asked Immolation if they liked to play another set on the big stage, the Ram set, and they were like, "Yeah, fuck it, we were here anyway." And yep. they played different songs too. So I yeah. mean, they still played yeah, it was a couple a whole of different set. Well, yeah. it was mostly a different set. Like there were still some ones they were playing. Uh, that they repeated, but they played some different songs, and I would say between the two sets, we got to hear most of Dawn of Possession. Yeah, that's true. So I was like, "Wow, holy shit!" That's true. Yep, yep. It, <laughs> dude, it's all good, bro. There will be other shows, I promise. Yeah, dude. We'll see him again. Yeah. We're gonna see him at MDF. Yeah, so. dude. I mean, yeah. If if you if you pick a day at MDF, honestly, man, <clears throat> whichever day you pick at MDF. Yeah, let us know, man. If Mortifam plays a day ahead of you, I'll pick up you. Um, uh, sorry, Mortifram. Mortifram. Yeah, I already ah. fucked up. I'll pick you up a <laughs> Mortifram shirt. Hell, man, you, you let me know which ones you want. I'll scout ahead. Ooh, favorite metal logos? Ah, jeez, dude. There's a lot. That's a good question. Uh, I mean, Morbid Angel. I love that yeah. logo. Um, I love Suffocation's logo. Yeah. Um, I love Incantation's logo. Yep. Um, Cryptopsy's logo, I love. Um, Napalm Death. Yes. Yeah, yes. the the main one, the one that looks like it's comprised of like squiggly bones. To be honest, I really love the simplicity of the Cannibal Corpse logo. It's yeah. it's brutal, but at the same time, pretty simple. So that's cool. Um, Skeletal Remains. I'm just yeah. trying to look at all my shirts from here. <laughs> oh man. Uh God, I mean I'm looking at my wall. Uh obituary. Obituary is one of the yeah. best logos. I used to draw I mean, that let's on. Let's be honest here. Immolation's logo. Immolation's logo cool. sick. Um exhumed because it has the dripping blood and yeah. Yep. And speaking There's of dripping bunch. blood and chunder skinless. <laughs> let's see. Peter's. Oh yeah, the wine, definitely. I never, I don't think, I think Pete had kind of quit drinking when I last saw him. Went to see Sepultura. Ooh. Friday at Harpo's. It was awesome. Crowbar, Sega Rag. All three bands are awesome. So we canceled. Yeah. Uh, I want to say Miller, I think he went to that show. He didn't. 
No, he didn't. He didn't end up going. It was uh, Eric and Chad and Aries. Oh, well, then shit, man. Aries got a fucking good show then. Yeah, dude. Aries got a real good show. Hey, look, good for him. Yeah. He's got to start somewhere. And the shows that he has seen have all been really cool. So. Uh, let's see. Seeing them brings new appreciation for the trip. <laughs> They're too weird for a lot of the heads, though. I I can imagine. I've seen the pictures, the get-ups and everything, and I don't know. Like the ritual wine pouring sounds pretty uh, fun. I don't know. I I've I've listened to tracks, Pam. I just I don't know quite what to make of them. But uh, I mean, they're interesting. Yeah, maybe maybe it'll click with me. Let's see. Worst punishment, <laughs> dude. All of them. <laughs> so so right. So Nick's Nick's porcelain throne, I think, has seen the worst of the worst because I lived there for a while. Uh, Shred lived there for a while. I live um, here. Yeah, Nick lives there, and we're all like shit monsters. So, <sighs> so his toilet seen a beating. Um, my porcelain throne, personally, um, the one that is here, I have not really given a proper beating to yet. Um, at at the place I lived before this one, though, I had food poisoning, and that was pretty brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I've, I've had food poisoning here. Oh, I, I, I had that stomach flu. Yeah, yeah, that was horrible. I had to sleep on my couch, man. I was like back and forth the fucking toilet, just shitting water every five minutes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nothing so uh, fun like shitting water. Oh, I mean. Repeatedly. Spicy water. For a day or two. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, we saw it in Detroit. So, Michigan. Yeah. Or unless you're talking about state of mind. Uh, sober. Because we're old and boring. Let's see here. Fabulous Disaster is my favorite Exodus album when it's not Bonnet by Blood. I mean, Bonnet by Blood's going to be way up there for me. I do love that album because, I mean, as soon as we're done with. Um, Carcass, that's the next one up. Oh, Fabulous Disaster is good too, and I mean, I I I do like some of the the Duke stuff too, like a lot. Then yeah, man, we're hoping to see you there, dude. Yep, we're hoping and, to. Hey man, I, I can at least scout ahead, take some pictures, like, hey man, this is where it's at, dude. I'll do some recon work for you, Jeff. I got your back. Noonan's got your front. You know, I mean, he'll he'll take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have your front. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have it. I will. The Emperor logo is actually one of my. Actually, it's between Emperor and Dark Throne, probably for my favorite logos in black metal. Like they just have great fucking logos. <sighs> I thought we've been doing that. That's. Have you ever watched our videos, Robert? Have you really <laughs> Pretty much. Them? Because I feel like every single video that we've done in the last three years has so cool. some way, shape or form some Beavis and Butthead. We're, we're like, we're like Beavis and Butthead. Except but, dumber. Except, right, except dumber. <laughs> you know what? I'm proud of my dumbness. Awesome album cover. I love I, that. Is, that's one of my favorite album covers in terms of nice. black metal too. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, we have. I've seen them twice. They fucking whoop yes. ass live. Yes. Like, yes. Very, watch your fucking ass because those pits get fucking spinning. Very high energy. Very, man. They're a good time. Dude, Definitely Toxic go Holocaust Toxic rules. Holocaust if you haven't, if anyone here has not seen Toxic Holocaust, it's make sure you're working on a new them. album. So, catch yeah. With, sweet. Sweet. Yeah, whenever that new album drops, believe me, um, I'm on it. Uh, all right, dude. Later, man. Later, man. Sleep well. Peace. Later. Let's see. I mean, I'll be up there for me, too, with, with the Night Side Eclipse. Let's see. Keep <laughs> I mean, it always turns into, like, let's talk about shit and farts or genitalia. I farted. <laughs> <laughs> man see i'm sorry 
because it's because I don't have his front. I'm sorry, I know. brother. We will, we will. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an extra fist bump when I see you to make up for. Uh... <laughs> no, because Nick's got your back. Fist he's bump. got the fist there. Fist bump. Yep, he's gonna play rock paper scissors with your butt. No, I told him I already got his back. They're, but they're all gonna be rocks. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we were talking what about what Barnes impression. I don't even know what he's talking about. That's crazy. I've never impersonated yeah. Barnes. Yeah, Barnes never, too. We Steve never even Barnes? did that. Oh, Chris Barnes. Oh, he's that guy. All right, what's the next show? Oh man, dude. There's all right. Uh, oh, there's a bunch lining up. Um, in uh, God, in May actually, and. Uh, man, I'm gonna have to pick maybe just one of those because again, MDF. Um, next month though is uh, Mastodon and Opeth with Chemist, yep. and I think Nevolent Creation is at the Sanctuary <clears throat> April 28th with Cognitive. That might be a good one. Oh, and there's also oh the, the second what, is Obituary Bruce. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say the second is obituary and gruesome, and two hundred sad wounds at oh, yeah. um, uh, the grog shop in Cleveland Heights. And uh, animals as leaders, but it it wasn't St. Andrews Hall. I know they're not doing that, so I wonder where they're gonna move that show. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saint, Saint yeah Andrews there Hall will be is... no St. Andrews Hall for the uh, for yeah, currently future. broken. They gotta replace some floor joists. I mean, it's definitely poo poo pee pee for me. I don't, I don't know about John. I don't want to speak for him there. <laughs> I mean, it depends what kind of mood I'm in. Um, sometimes it's pee pee poo poo, <laughs> and sometimes it's poo poo pee pee. It it just is, and I. I, I mean, it, I mean, it just depends. It depends how long it's been. It depends if I'm in a wicked rush or not. Um, yeah. Usually, poo poo pee pee. Some mostly pee pee poo poo. I mean, was there my order all... comes in there? Because I mean, most of the time, if I'm dropping a poo poo, the pee pee usually kind of just comes with it. Well, right, yeah. but I mean, yeah, usually it's poo. <laughs> Can't even say it anymore. Poo poo pee pee. Do pee pee poo poo. Quick. Oh, here we go. Up. You'll know we're stupid. Nah. Oh no, he doesn't miss it. I don't miss it. Because <laughs> it's, it's too frequent to miss. I'm I'm ambidextrous for the next run. Oh hello, Lefty. You've been away for a while. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh see, nice. man, I you know, I love 200 stab wounds, but I would love to see Warf Lurch, dude. That was I like would too. I my favorite death metal album of last year, pretty much. Like, dude, that that last one was... I mean, all their stuff has been really good, but shit, dude. That trippy, psychedelic fucking weirdness mixed with just fucking kick the shit out of your death metal. It's brilliant. Oh, God. I The most recent one I remember, uh, I attended like a family reunion and like a fancy hotel and I, like all of my cousins <laughs> turned into zombies and shit and it was like a shining size hotel it was kind of shining ass it had like a really nice like spot in it. <laughs> it was weird and i was trapped there and i don't do a lot of like family stuff anyway like right. believe right. it or not i might be the black sheep of my family <laughs> i know hard to believe i don't remember the last dream i had so that doesn't help you any but i will keep it in mind and see if i can remember some fun ones and the next time we do this i will tell you about a fun dream because i don't remember oh yeah no he he is yeah, he oh, was yeah. a while ago he re-memed himself when he opened his mouth right yeah when he reopened his mouth he can't unheard. believe these really good death metal vocalists are Talking Damn about me. I why didn't they call me? Oh yeah, no, I suck. 
Huh. Uh, eventually, yeah, uh, we'd love to do one. It's just those take a lot to get together and a lot to edit. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, we'd we'd, we'd probably do one. We gotta figure out something. Actually, we were Nick and I were talking today about maybe having a guest star. Uh, yeah, with us. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's definitely coming. Oh, th- this 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 happens. <laughs> the schedule. I- the scheduled talk is already over. This is the part where we just yammer about uh, poop and pee pee, poo poo and pee pee, poo poo, pee pee, poo poo and poo poo pee pee. <laughs> nope, nope. John can do that one. I'm sure he could. I no, I can't. Not as well as you would do. I don't. Nope, nope. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah, you do. Uh, okay, you've been in a public bathroom and some dude in the other stall is absolutely blasting ass. <laughs> Cover your... Dude, all the time. I like. Yeah. It was actually recently. I, I I had to stop at a Walgreens right next to um the one right next to Allied because I had to piss so fucking bad. And I walk in there, start pissing. This dude kind of rushes in and just hops on the fucking stall and just. <laughs> And I just like <laughs> <laughs> because I'm emotionally 14 still. But yeah, yep. farts yep. farts are funny. Farts are still yes, funny. They are. You know when they're very funny. I'm done uh, laughing at farts. I, I, I think I'm like fully just dead inside. Then, ugh. So keep laughing at farts, everyone. Man, I don't, this fucking hat. I, I would do it. I hate new beanies. I. I no issue with doing Slipknot eventually. I mean, I know they're working on a new album, so that one's kind of off the table. Yeah, it'll now. probably happen. Yeah, I, uh, dude, I, I still have high praise for that first album, especially. I, yes, I, I do still too. Love that I already, album. I already pretty much know where my ranking lies without even really having to listen to Slipknot. So, for the most part, I'm, I'm curious what this new one sounds like. But, but I mean, uh, let's be honest here. How many times have? Have bands, you know, when they put out new records, say, oh, this sounds a lot like blah, blah, blah from the past. And then they put it out and you're like, meh. And Slipknot, like now has, Slipknot now has claimed several times that their new albums are going to be heavy or closer to Iowa or closer to the first record. And I, we'll see. Honestly, I, they should I'm just say nothing. My breath. They should say nothing. Like I don't, I, I'm all for bands not teasing what they're doing on the next album. Like, yeah, across the yeah. Like, don't say it's like, yeah, we're in the studio, we're writing some jams, and you yeah, know, we kind of feel good about it. That's it. We're not telling you what it right, sounds right. like. We'll see you. You'll hear we'll it. You. Yeah. Let's see. What do you think bands write bad albums? Like, I generally don't understand how. Uh, it's aluminum anus. I think that's the actual pronouncing pronunciation yeah. risk. See, I don't know. All right, like there's a, there's a lot of school of thoughts on on that. Like, like part of me thinks that they're just fully committed. Like, there is not a doubt in their mind. They hear it, and what they hear versus what we hear, like this is pretty damn good. And then sometimes I think like they get like halfway through it, and it's like, dude, we literally have nothing else. We have to finish this. We have to see it through. It's that, or or they're not fully committed to it, and they're just like, all right, maybe maybe it's to fulfill a contract or something, and they're just like, here you go. And or uh, it could be to appease, like, all right, it depends. Like, all right, does like said band have a principal songwriter? You know, and this is his vision versus the rest of the band. Like, you know, the the last fucking. Machine Head album, not the EP that came out, but the last fucking Catharsis, whatever the fuck it was, that just screamed, eh, this is Rob's baby, and no one else really right. wanted any part of that. Well, that's why Rob's pretty much on, on an island by himself. Yeah, I mean, apparently he and Phil Demo still talk, like, they don't, he, you know, I guess he says, like, now he's not like an enemy of mine, but yeah, and even Rob admitted, like, yeah, I, I chased my band away, I fucked up. I was like, yeah, yeah, you did. You wrote yeah, you a did. trash fucking album too, man. A couple of them. He's yeah, yeah. Good. Supercharger was bad enough. You had to fucking re up. Machine Oof. Head hasn't really been Machine Head in my opinion since the Blackening. Uh, Under the Locust was still pretty good, but yeah, after it was, after it was, like eh. 
after yeah, under the locust like the was it bloodstone and diamonds like yeah it was yeah. Eh. let's see well later tillman all right later brother like join us man be well uh, let's see <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, it, it's all subjective, but uh, aluminum ants is bad. It's just, it's just yes. bad. It's just terrible. It's I think awful. I think m most, if not all, of us can agree that that record was a. I there there was someone that said that's that that was one of their higher marked albums in terms of like, like well, I mean, hey, if you love it, you love it. At least right. someone does. It's not me. <sighs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jeff. Oh, oh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Oh, 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 Jeff. Jeff, come on, Jeff. Jeff, come on. Come back. We, Ooh. we miss you. I want to see that band. I, I hear sometimes live, it gets because they, all right, they have a thing for all vintage equipment. Like they love all the old school analog, like very '70s stuff, and sometimes their sound live can be a little rough. Yeah, but I do want to see them just because I like the fact that that is kind of their thing, like a full on retro, like <sighs> very old school Sabbathy thing. Let's see. Now I found out a buddy of mine got me tickets to Circle Jerks, Negative Approach, in seven seconds in a month. Holy shit! Dude, that's a solid fucking punk bill. I've seen Negative Approach before, and they're fucking good. Like, they're still fucking rowdy. And, yeah, I haven't seen Circle Jerks, but I've been listening to them for a long time. I mean, anything attached to fucking Black Flag, yeah. I like Dillinger. I still like Dillinger. Um, I do, too. Well, I don't, I don't know if that's a band. <laughs> it might be a band, like, maybe, like, <laughs> maybe John and I rank. I think we're the only ones that actually like Dillinger. Yeah. Uh but I mean I I really like Miss Machine. Miss Machine I think is really good. Um Calculating Infinity is I like Calculating awesome. Infinity. I I uh, I will always love the early Dillinger stuff when they were just fucking noise and crazy shit and I uh, just off the rails, uh, you know, stuff like the the Nikea room and into the moat and shit like that like I will always resonate more so with those albums. So, yeah. well, later, Jeff. Yep, uh, later, brother. Your test, man. Can we post on that, dude? Hope everything goes well, man. Yeah, for sure. Good luck, brother. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> yes. All right. I, I want to say Sperm Swamp's fucking. Um, their logo is pretty fucking hilarious. I've never actually, I think I've listened to Torso Fuck before. And I can't it, say that I have. I can't say it that. It sounds I've like a band named Torso it. Fuck. It I may have heard some Torso Fuck, but I can't be certain. <laughs> but I think Sperm Swamp's logo is, I mean, it's Lily Splatter Jizz. <laughs> uh,. I still can't. That's the only Megadeth album I don't own, and I don't know if I want to. Like, I, I could. I feel all right leaving that, that gap in the collection. Right. It's girth. You gotta come with a thickness. It's, yep. It's yeah. One hundred percent girth. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't hear it. We didn't. I actually can't hear. It's a. It's a blessing and a curse, huh? No, nah, it's 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 still it's still risk for me. It's super glitter isn't that good either, though. Yes, actually, yes. One of the few death bands I still dig. I actually I really liked the last EP and last full length. I thought those were both really good. Yeah, dude, both of them are really good. Um, I um, um, Wormwood, I like. Um, what's a uh, continent? Um, yeah, Wormwood is awesome. Oh, actually, you know, Continent is Continent's one of my favorites. What Death is the Only Mortal, right? Yeah, it's That's, got some good songs yeah. on it. Yeah. Uh, whatever the Witch one. Uh, that one's Coma, okay. Coma Witch was me. Yeah. There's a couple songs on it that are really good, but for the most part, Coma Witch was me. And 
And you know what? The the first and only time I saw the Acacia strain, they were fucking terrible. Oh, it was in, the... in Dayton, dude. It was. I don't know if they were having an off night or what, because I've seen live video of the Acacia strain, and there's been nights where they've been really on, and I'm like, okay, cool. But they were fucking terrible <laughs> when we saw them with Dayton. I think Venus. Benny just wasn't having it. That was pretty pretty much told the crowd that they all fucked their sisters. I mean. I, mean, I looked at some of the crowds like I mean, you know, it's not yeah, I mean we, we were in Dayton, so but um yeah, I I've, I've seen the Acacia strain before and they've put on killer fucking shows, so yeah, it was an off night. Uh, uh there's there's quite a few. I know Undeath is one that I am definitely looking forward to in April. Um me, just because let me just look ahead here. Stuff. Are you are you looking at April releases? Yeah. Here, let's think. see here. Well, actually, look at the release calendar. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, that's still March. Hold on one second. Oh, um, let's see. Sentinex, uh, Meshuggah's yeah, Yep, yeah, Meshuggah's yep, well, oh no, that'd be April first. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Any oh, albums yeah. you guys are looking forward to in April? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Satan, the new Satan. I'm definitely interested in. Um. God, let's else? see. Uh. Da, 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 da. Uh. Hold on here. Destruction. Let's see. We got oh here. wow! Oh no! Well, maybe is there a new Morse Principium? Uh, looks like liberate the unborn humanity. Liberate the unborn in humanity. So, okay. I don't know. Uh, oh, let's see what that is. I I do like that band. Yeah, I do too. Let's see here. Uh. Oh! Oh! They're re-releasing a whole bunch of stuff. For Armored Saint, that's cool. Um, wow, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on. Maybe oh, there will be Egg Gregor, new Caliban, dude. I'll check that out. I used to be a big fan of those guys, they haven't changed much. Ooh, new Corpse S? Yeah, oh, yeah, new Corpse S. I'm definitely, definitely down for. Uh, I guess Archgoat has an EP coming out. Body Snatcher, I've heard a lot about that band. Of course, on death. Oh, man. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff. Well, I mean, I'll I'll make a full on list at some point. Um, all right, let's get another. Ooh, um, I mean, actually, I think Alex is a good fit. In incantation, in, incantation, yeah, dude. I think he, brought... he he anchors the main riff while fucking, you know, Rob just goes fucking wild with all the fucking dissonant accents yeah. and leads. Yeah, I still gotta check out Eternal Champion. I gotta get some of their stuff. I've jammed it on YouTube, and I I just don't own it yet. Uh, let's see here. Oh, night, man. Later. Let's see, live in November. Let's see, and they did. I see. Oh, oh okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, I mean, That's like cool. I said, we well, the last time we saw them was definitely an off night, but I think it was like one of the last dates in the tour, and they just were not given any fucks that night for yeah, the. I think, they were, I think they were tired and done. Yeah. Which I get. <laughs> Picking up chicks using <laughs> corpse lyrics. Best of luck. Oh man. Uh, I well, probably not with Barnes lyrics. Nah, probably not with fucking corpse grinders. But Barnes was always like specifically kind of uh, towards the ladies. You know those those last two albums with Barnes. I don't know. That'd be tough. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think it would work. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Yeah, I don't think it would work either. I mean, if it does, great, but it it probably won't. It probably I've seen Guar live. I don't know, 
three, one, two, four. three, four. I've seen Gore alive, I think, four times. Awesome. I think. You, you're, yep. If you if you leave a Guar show and you are not fucking entertained, I don't think then you there's saw something Guar. wrong with you. Yeah, yeah, you didn't see Guar. You didn't. I don't believe you. Went to the midnight uh, man midnight show in Salt Lake City. Ooh. Oh shit! Nice fucking Ooh, snag, nice. dude. Nice job, dude. I don't know. There's I I might still hit that one. That's like an early April show. I don't know. I just mostly I just want to see Midnight. Like I love Mayhem, but Midnight is fucking fun. Jesus Christ. Oh. For all right. Oh, man, I don't think they're overrated just because the early stuff, especially like that is still essential listening for me. But yeah, there's there's definitely some you know dips in quality in the discography. But I mean for the early albums, no, I don't think the early albums are overrated. But I mean, unless someone has like technical ecstasy or fucking never say die rated highly, then not really <laughs> great albums there. No, I I wouldn't mind doing that. We were jamming Electric Wizard on the way back, yeah, and yeah. it's slow, doomy, and stony, and I like that shit. Oh, there's a new God of Throne coming out. Hey, I'm down. I am totally down I'm, for that. I'm down. I hope it's better than the last album. The last one was. Just okay. It was just kind of boring. I mean, I'm not what I, I yeah. I, I honestly like one of my favorites is the debut Christ Hunt. That is such a viciously heavy, yeah. just yeah, brutal, almost yeah. like HM2 dirtiness. I love that album. You should be. You probably yeah, I'm should sorry. be. You we're uh <laughs> we're not okay. I mean, we're okay. I'm okay, but we're not. We're not. He's lying. <laughs> Later, Robert. <laughs> okay. Get some sleep, Ben. Yep. Later, buddy. Be well. Watch out for bears. Yeah. Uh, uh, seven stars. Not good. Forbidden. Fuck. Oy. Yeah. There's there's definitely some duds. Croc's purposes is probably the best out of that bunch, in my out opinion. Of that, right, out of that specific lineup of albums, yes. I do like Junior's Eyes, though. Like I, uh, That song on fucking Never Say Die, I love that song. And and the title track, but uh, everything else is pretty damn skippable. Let's see. No. I like 13. 13's a good album. When did metal become less cool than comic books? I mean, probably somewhere in the nineties. You know, I, that's when we got into metal. When we were in high school, we yeah. were pretty much you know musical outcasts because it was the late nineties and metal wasn't cool. I'm not saying it is cool, but I think it's cool to us. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I love it, but I mean, I've always loved metal. You know, I fell in love with metal almost instantaneously. And yeah. I didn't give a crap if anyone liked it or not. I loved it. I was lucky, I suppose, to have a even a group of friends back in high school that liked metal. But I mean, I never got into it because it was popular. I got into it because I loved it. So I don't know. Um, I mean, and comic books got the Hollywood treatment. Now they're super cool. Like, right. you know... It, it's it's okay. I mean, honestly, the whole like nerd dynamic thing changed. Like, it's it's when people call someone a nerd now, it's they're like they're usually like, "Oh, thank you. That's that's cool. I like being a nerd." Yeah, I like being called a nerd, dude. I'll accept nerd, dork, nerd or yeah. dork. I'll accept yeah. either, dude. I think it's awesome. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm 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 glad that I have that trait or those traits or whatever. Yeah, I mean. Maybe if, if metal gets a Hollywood treatment, I know there's a series coming out on Netflix that looks pretty damn cool about kids yeah. forming a metal band. And it's like, you know what? Uh, my school was never this cool. So good for them. <laughs> good for <laughs> these fictional characters. Um, so we got a conversation going on in the chat about, ooh. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you guys settle that one. Right. Uh yeah, uh, I love Amon Amarth for what they are, but I think they're they're kind of 
kind of getting really predictable. Like I, I love, of course, the enthusiasm they have, like mm-hmm. put your back in the mm-hmm. oar. And the video has them dressed as Vikings, drinking from meat horns, right. and slaying shit. And right. if you go see them live, you're guaranteed a great show every time. They put on a killer live show. They engage the crowd well. Hell, there's footage of people like on the lawn seats, you know, at, at fucking you know amphitheaters doing the fucking the rowing and shit like yeah i mean yeah. that's that's crowd engagement that's really fucking cool uh, oh dear we have some bickering let's let's not bicker kids <laughs> it ain't <worth> it. <laughs> what what's what's little what's, pump i don't even know little i have pump. no idea what little pump is i know what little uh, wayne is I know Little Wayne and the he's the the, only, he's the, uh, the gremlin with the gold teeth, right? The I like that song you did with Eminem. That's about as far as it goes. But I have no idea who Little Pump is. Yeah, I have no None. idea. I've been out of the the hip hop rap scene for quite some time. Um, you know, I'm I, I still like like old school '90s hip hop, and I probably always will. Um, Man, but I have no idea. I had like Reebok pumps when I was a kid. I did too. But, yeah, I did too. Yep. So, uh, little, little, little Wayne, maybe I don't know. I have no idea. I'm. I mean, wait, I'm, is this I'm not fight? a giant fan <laughs> of him to begin with. Yeah. Um, his voice kind of annoys me. Um yeah. I don't know. I don't think he's that great of a lyricist. But again, I haven't been in the, the I, I dropped out of finding new rap um, somewhere in the late 90s, early 2000s. And I never really went back. Eminem was yeah. about as far as it went. Um, yeah. Maybe like a smidge of ludicrous here and there, but nothing, nothing to write home about. I still got like a funk dubious. Uh, I do. CD. I have a funk dubious album. Which do you be? I have uh, actually. Now I don't remember, so I'm gonna look it up. I have fly go hard like geese erection, Lilium Wayne Knight. Oh, Knight. I have I, I have a uh, brother's doobie. That was I think. I think mine came out in '93. I used to own it on tape. So mine was the album before that. Lil Pump is the Gucci Gang guy. I have no idea who. I have no idea what that is either. Is. Yeah. No idea. None. I yeah. I suppose they were Gucci. Yes. Yeah. Are they in a gang? Or are they all guys? What's happening? I mean, are they? Yeah. I mean, that's it. Those are the only clues we're given there, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. You guys see that episode about Pazuzu? And- yes. Yep. Oh. Dude. To- just, d- dude, trust me. Think about yeah. it before you watch it. This dude was like one of the grossest fucking human beings oh. ever. And okay. uh, oh. Oh, he murdered people too. Oh, well. Yeah. Maybe not no, before he- bed. Oh, yeah, definitely not before bed. Uh, this this dude uh, and his, his girlfriend... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh nah. Nah for me. <laughs> nah. I mean, different nah. strokes for different folks. <laughs> um uh-huh. yeah, that was intended. Uh yeah, I just uh, you know, uh, the the whole tentacle uh I, I don't thing. I can't I don't I don't find cartoons. I've seen, I've seen, uh, Yurisoka, Yurisokoji, do, Yurisoka doji, whatever the fuck that is. Just because that was where Rob Zombie got the sample at the beginning of Welcome to Planet Motherfucker. And, uh, yeah, there was a giant, like, Godzilla sized demon with, uh, like eight dicks destroying the city. And, uh, yeah. So it's very weird. I love Cavell Jack. Uh, I've seen them live. Impossible to describe what they are. 
Uh, it's it's Fair like, enough. like rock and uh, bits of death metal, black metal, thrash mm-hmm. metal. And, and it's but it like it's homogenized so fucking well. Like, yes. It, yeah. They, they 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 really <laughs> blend all that shit really well. It makes it. I, I tell you, it doesn't lose my interest. No, I I own all their albums. I I love actually their last one was a year ender for me. I fucking I the only problem is I can't pronounce any of their damn tracks because they're all in Norwegian except for like maybe one or two per album. But um oh god what was we're not name? good at that no <laughs> but I, I it sucks because I, I do want to review one of their albums because every album I've listened to has been a good time yeah well the album was called Split yes <laughs> and Split. um it did have more English titles but my favorite one wasn't in English it was uh uh Brat 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 Bran whatever um. <laughs> I absolutely love that song. It is it's it's constructed so damn well, and the riffs are unbelievably catchy. Jesus Christ! What? Thralls of Metal received eight new messages. <laughs> Just Let's now. See what that's all about? It 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 popped up on my Facebook. I don't. Oh. Hmm. Oh, uh, was it about? Uh... Well, here's one curious to know if we know a bunch of bands, and we do. Oh, geez, there are a lot. I don't know. Whatever. The we'll, death metal ice. We'll do that later. Yeah. Oh wow, there's a lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that one later. Yep. Um, let's see. What's up, man? We'll be in your Yo. city. Yeah, we'll soon. be there soon. Well, not like super soon. Like you're not gonna see us there well, like tomorrow, but a couple months. Yeah, we'll be there in a couple months, but uh, we'll be there. I gotta get a hold of some friends out there. I have friends out that area too. I gotta check out the more recent stuff by Carbomb. I've heard a lot of good stuff. I just have uh, Centralia, and I mean it's it's a fucking wild album, but yeah, not. They're, uh, they're, they're really entertaining to watch live. I feel yeah. really bad for their drummer, dude. Who? Elliot, what's his name? Elliot something or other. I, I can't remember. I can't remember either. When was the last time he cried? I don't know. I kicked my fucking coffee table like <laughs> not too long ago, and there might have been a tear. I don't know. Like from a movie? God, man. I got a little misty eyed at the end of Ghostbusters. The new uh, Ghostbusters. I won't lie. I do that nostalgia hit hard. Yeah. I, it, was, it was a little bit of feels there. Um, God. I mean, honestly, the one that always gets me, and I, I, I still uh, did uh, fucking What Dreams May Come. Oh, my God. Dude, the Green Mile gets me every time. Yeah. Like a what? fucking sobbing baby. <laughs> yes. <dude. laughs> big I don't have guy. feelings. I'm a big tough metal right, guy. Right. <laughs> uh, I had a breakup a couple months ago that rendered me weepy for just a moment. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Water well, under the bridge. I don't care anymore. So. Let's see. Power metal. Oh, God. Um, I mean, well. NSBM, I'll th- I'll throw that one under the. Well, under I mean that too, but I mean yeah, I, I think that bus. goes without saying. Um, um but I'm like, yeah, power metal, I just can't get into. Like, all right, I I, I do like some iced earth stuff, but I mean they're not very popular to like uh <laughs> there right now. But honestly, burnt offerings is a whoop ass album, but it's heavier than a lot of power metal. Like, I just it, it's just difficult for me to get into. But I love traditional heavy metal. Like shit that sounds like early Iron Maiden and Angel Witch, yeah. and like I love that shit. That shit sounds great. All the guitar harmonies are awesome. It's just when it gets into the whole wizard and dragons campiness, and it's yeah, not like, you know, um, me about symphonic it. black metal is another one for me. I just symphonic can't. metal in general for me. Like I yeah, mean, I like yeah. Flesh God Apocalypse. I still I think they're really fucking good. They're all right. They're but, all right. There's a lot of bands there's out there like even, dude. there's even parts of them that I don't like though. I don't know. I'm maybe I'm weird, 
but the whole symphonic thing in metal, I just, I. It's yeah, pass. it's a bit much. Pass. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, we'll, uh, we'll be out there if you. Uh, we'll definitely be out there. I'm sure we will make our presence known. So. Why is there an or there? It should be an and. <laughs> right. Right. Um. God, man. It depends. It really depends. Like, what if you have, like, you know, the most perfectly proportioned Hiding. lady walk by and you don't know what to stare at? You just. <laughs> I'm gonna go over there. Um, yeah. I don't know. It, it, it depends. It depends like, on who's wearing them. I like boobs. I do like boobs. I like boobs. I, see, I'm an, I, I'm, I'm an ass man. <laughs> they were really good. They're really, really good. Like, I really, again, I think the vocals were a little loud, but they they definitely brought the thunder. For yeah, sure. they, I mean, it was raw, fucking blackened nastiness. You know, and frantic. And again, let me say that the the live sound mix for all these bands tonight was really on point. Yeah, I, I really am impressed with the sound at L Club. <clears throat> Yo, greetings, buddy. What is up? Here he is. in the state, from our states to your Australia. Hello. Power Wolf gets the adrenaline pump in the most reason. Ah, man, I mean, I, I, I've listened. I've tried to listen to Power Wolf, and I just can't. It's, it's, it's like it's, I get it. People love them, it's, it's and you okay. know what? To me, yeah, like. Uh, I know, I know there's like tons of like diehard Man of War fans out there, and right. I can't get past the pictures of them, you know, all greased up and fucking loincloths. Look how tough we are. It's like, that's, uh, nope. Actually, I own that. And see, all right, that's different. That was a one off thing where they did a performance with the Norwegian Opera. Right. Versus right. So like, yeah, Satyricon stuff yeah, is so to, not symphonic. Yeah, yeah, but to incorporate something like that with what you're doing is really cool because at least it's not like they, you know, had synths or like invited extra people into the studio. Like they went out and actually performed with the opera, and that's really cool. Yeah, because I'm, I mean, I, I, you know, I like to go see the symphony. At least I'm not the world's biggest opera fan. But to see something like that live is a whole different ball game. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, thighs and hips are nice too, man. Yeah, they're great too. I mean, I, I, I really don't pull any punches. It all depends on who's wearing them. He pulls his pud. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said pull. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Just remember, everyone, his hand's been down there for a while. Not on a live stream. We'd we'd get in trouble, fired or something. We get fired from YouTube. Well, that's good, man. <laughs> Everyone's got to have something. We are not here to kink shame. All right. Yeah, it's your bag. Most, yeah, you do. You do you, man, and do it with you. Pride. Do do you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, you pee pee poo poo you. Okay. Wait, hold on. What if he wants to poo poo pee pee himself? Man, all right? look. If you want to pee pee poo poo or poo poo pee pee. It's it's up to you, and and we support whatever you want to do. Good job. You're the scat man. <laughs> oh, let's see. What's your view on bands reforming from early years and releasing mediocre? I mean, like part of me is happy that some of these bands are still around, but sure. If, if you want to come back, like, especially if it's like a band, like, you yeah, right. Carcass is a good example of them coming back and releasing kick-ass material. Right, right. Releasing a fucking banger of an album. Um, but, you know, there's been some that came back and released some really mediocre stuff. But if it gets them back on the road and touring again, like, if that was the thing they wanted to do before actually doing a tour. Like, like. We can use we can use Jason Kayser as an example. We see Jason Kayser all the time. Yeah, the lead singer of Origin. We saw um, him tonight. Yeah, he appeared at the show. Apparently, he was uh, 
he was the 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 tour manager for the I think that's what he said. Did he say he was doing tour manager? I think so, yeah. 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 Um but like we see him all the time and he said basically every time we see him he just says like hey man I get bored. And so <laughs> we've seen him he was the the driver of the bus for the faceless a couple of years ago. Um he did a set with ingested <laughs> that was one of his more entertaining sets I think. That was hilarious. <laughs> um and then he was with Psychroptic like so he just appears everywhere and I think like I, I think the same thing for for bands that want to come back from the dead and just get back out there. Maybe he got bored. Maybe he missed it. Maybe he wanted to get back on the road and play some shows. I fucking get it. I haven't been with a band in a while and I miss playing shows and writing, you know, material and I've never toured, but I mean, I can imagine like, I think that's what bands want to do. And so, and I mean, want to do it. Cool. I mean, releasing mediocre LPs, man, they can't all be zingers. Yeah. Props to them for, I think, just getting back out there and doing something. Who cares if it sucks? And, you know, like, sometimes I think it has a lot to do with, like, record labels and such. Like, you know, like, oh, we want to get back out there and tour and our old materials. Like, well, we kind of like something new. Like, say they had one more album left on the contract and they broke up before that. And it's like, well, if we reform, we kind of have to honor that contract, I believe. So maybe they have yeah. to. Right. I don't know. There's a lot of things. I mean, honestly, um, if you if you don't have it in yet or write something just yet, maybe wait, get out there on the road and tour or, you know, figure it out. But take the time. Take the time because this is your comeback. Oh, man. I mean. I haven't it, watched wrestling in so long. Um, I, I watched it as a kid. And, yeah. I mean, you know, it was, of course it was Hulk. It's Hulk, yeah, Hulk Hogan. Hulkamania was yep. running wild. So was I. Yep. <laughs> Rainy Macho I mean, Man Savage. Oh, dude. Uh, dude, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. You know, he was one of my favorites. Yep. I mean, there was, then, there was a lot. They were all classic era. Like, of course, I love Andre the Giant. A little bit in the mid to late 90s, um, the Dudley Boys. I don't know if you remember those guys. They were Very always cool. in the... Always in the... Uh, the um the blue and black and white camouflage one yeah. was a white dude one was a black dude they were the nerdy glasses oh all right i kind of remember them. i man. like those dudes they were they were all right i mean all right emperor emperor can get away with that emperor was really good actually i'd say they're kind of pioneers for that septic flesh the new septic flesh song they just released sounds fucking badass Rhapsody, yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, yeah, they got a new one. It sounds, huh. it sounds more behemoth than behemoth has sounded, uh, at least in the last couple. Well, I mean, and Wilderun's awesome, but there's also a lot of folk in there too. There's like a very opethy kind of death metal in there. There's a lot of stuff going on, and I think because it's progressive, the symphonic elements kind of lend themselves a bit. They know sure. how to space it out. Right. Later, hex process. Good Later. talking. Uh, let's see. Favorite Unleashed album and favorite out of the well, I mean, my favorite out of the you know, Swedish death metal big four is probably going to be in tune just because a left hand path. Yeah. And I do like that discography, and they kind of did whatever the fuck they wanted, but I mean, Dismember would be right behind them. Um, I mean, I well, we were eventually going to rank them, so I, I'll probably not right. say what my favorite but, uh... I do like a lot of the later stuff. Uh, and like, um, the early stuff, like, the, yeah, well, the first album, I think is really good. Let's see. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Uh, revelations of oblivion. That's actually mm -hmm. considering everything that Jeff came back from. That is probably my favorite. Yeah, no comeback album. It, yeah. it absolutely whoops ass and man, just to come back from everything, dude. Way to go, Jeff to Sarah. Yeah, I like Undertaker too. Yeah, I mean, oh, I sorry. liked him when he, his first shtick, though, not when he came back as a biker. I liked his actual like Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. Shtick. It sucks about Scott Hall too. Let's see. Love raw black metal. 
name a good band not well known uh, not well known but um actually oh shit let me see i gotta remember what the fucking name uh i have there was one i snagged when i was down in florida and it was described as raw black metal but i found it really fucking catchy uh, well, one, I would say Armageddon, Only True Believers. I really like that one, but that isn't the one I'm thinking of. Uh, where are you? You are further down. <laughs> yeah, still going. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, this is still going. <laughs> uh, well, I can say for me personally, I'm still getting into black metal. I'm really finding that I really adore black metal, and that's a good thing. But I can't, I still can't name too many bands off the top of my head. Um, it's a work in progress for me. So, oh, uh, god damn it. I think it be, did it begin with a P, maybe? Poo poo pee pee. Wasn't poo poo pee pee. Uh, Gast, uh, more crit collar. Oh, that is a really solid album. I got that in a metalhead box. Oh god, I would remember this album cover as soon as I saw it. Just man, black metal names sometimes are hard to fucking remember, especially if they're like <laughs> super fucking Finnish yes. or Swedish yes. or Norwegian. Yes. yes. Man, do you like Smurfskrok? <laughs> like, oh yeah, Smurfskrok. Smurfskrok. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're hard. To, <laughs> they're hard to remember. I mean, I might have just said an actual black metal name, like, "Oh, you've heard of our band?" Like, no, I was, I was making it. A, a <sighs> oh, god damn it! Oh, Necrostatist, Abstract <laughs> Satan, came out in 2011. That is a really good raw black metal um, band, right there to check out. Uh. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, they'll come back when they come back. I think, you know, uh, they're just kind of done. Uh, not anymore, but I used to. I had a stuffed dragon that I slept with as a kid, and I absolutely loved it. I think I, I called it bear. Dragony. <laughs> well, look at you and your original names. I know. It's um, very clever. I had a penguin for a while. Penguin, um, what was it? Penguin... Waddleston the third or something like that. It's been a while. Wait, wait a there while. was a there was a, a first and a second. No, well, I mean there might have been. I had the third. He was a lost soul. He needed a home. I didn't question shit. Okay, when a penguin shows up at your door and says, "Will you love me?" You just have to make that choice. Oh, with band members on it? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I just passed one here in my Black Metal collection. Uh, God damn it, why can't I think of it? Ooh, where are you? Come on. Uh, there we go. Uh, Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism with Immortal. Like, that is the whole, the whole flame fucking mm -hmm. spitting thing. It's great. Mm -hmm. It's a cheesy cover. The, <laughs> the videos, dude. Oh, my God. But, yeah. Absolutely great. Uh, let's see. And we'll just do this one to cap off the night because we're getting sleepy. Um, I mean, I can't say, but man, I love a lot of decapitated stuff. I do, too. First... The first four, four albums, at least. First yeah, the four first albums. four albums are fucking amazing. Actually, I just jammed them all at work the other night. The first four albums are fucking amazing. Um, but I I can't tell you what the favorite I is either because we we yeah. are going to get to it. I definitely want to rank ranking. them. And and uh, yeah, right, right ranking them is going to be no fun. Those so. those first four are any one of those could be number one. Yes. Honestly. Yes. The the. All right. Well. <laughs> uh, no, I think no is your answer. You get no as an answer. I, I've heard I've heard goat semen before. Uh, I prefer goat whore. I think probably to both. Word word. Yeah, but um, 
Uh, to eat, you'll have to ask uh, John. I don't know. I uh, he, he might be. No, in the, you have to ask. Either. No, you have to ask Shred. It's got nothing to do with me. He uh, he's the he's the special one when it comes to uh, semen. So you got know, all all semen questions have to be directed to Shred, and he'll he'll answer them whether you want him to or not. <laughs> yeah, that that information will be forced into your skull. Yep, and probably in great detail too. So, yeah. Just so you know that it's it's not me, it's him. Well, all right, all we're right. gonna wrap this up. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And yep. again, if there, are, you know, those four dates left for this emulation uh, tour, if they are going to your area, favor and go, go, go. Buy some merch. Buy some merch. Uh, chant, headbang, complain about yep. your sore feet. And yep. Although, buy more dude, merch. my shoes. Ooh, Actually, yeah. I Honestly, my, my feet weren't that bad. I'm probably going to get another pair of really decent shoes before we go. You're going to want to break them in. Yeah, I'm going to want to break them in. Probably going to get them like next week or something. But yeah. Yep. All right. We will catch you all later. Thank you so much for yep. subscribing. Thank you for helping us hit the 10,000 mark. It has been yes. awesome. Once again, and thank you very much. Uh, we will be back with you with a bunch of fucking reviews and shit, and um, eventually we're gonna get down to shooting uh, the carcass ranking probably next week. So yep. that's coming. So thank you yep. all very much. Yep, we much love. Catch you later. Peace and the broadcast now. Uh.